Hello to everyone and welcome to another adventure story video. Today we have here Manage Auto Bacala, Auto Bacala Filter. <laughs> no, Auto Backwash Filters. Okay, this is the proper say yes of the word for these filters. And here, as you can see, there is a mechanism here with brackets metal brackets, some pinions, okay, which is marked with a, a pen, okay, to see the exactly the positions of each part, okay. Just remember to switch off the panel, the power panel of the filters to shut off the air, okay, there is some small air controllers for the blow of the filter, to isolate the filter, okay, to close the inlet and outlet if your pump is stopped or you can keep your pump running the metal bolt pump and just bypass this filter next is to take out this cover after remove all these parts okay and this is how it looks like if you take out the cover next the next step is to take out these lock nuts okay there is several lock nuts located here and then when this cover is pulled up by a chain block okay there is the view which you see okay there is a different type of filters and this kind of filters it's not ball culture filters there's a different style as you can see here from here the oil is passing and the filtering take place here. Also there is a o-ring here which is seal between the surfaces. This kind of filters there is some microns okay the oil will pass and the dirty will keep inside will, will be trapped. Okay and after the, this is the filters, the dirty filters, you can see some dirty here, okay, this, this kind of filters, it's not, this dirty, it's not micro, maybe it's more than micro, so it will not pass. And after remove all the filters and clean also the slash filter, which is located local here in the main filters, okay, it's below the filters which is also dirty. The most dirty part is the downside here, down. And you need to blow several times and clean with... It's better to clean with some chemical, light chemical, some... And also to be very good blow by air after you clean, so you be sure that nothing will enter your engine. Better avoid water better avoid some acids okay use some light and sometimes it's better to use only air okay and after wipe with a good rack without leaving something inside okay because you don't like this kind of things to go inside your engine okay even moisture it's a trouble inside the engine okay And check the filters, the condition of the filters, it's better to check the filters because uh, they must be in good condition. If you see some damaged parts or it's being damaged one side or they are not properly, okay, better remove and replace them. Okay, this is clean. This is the filters, how, how they clean, okay. And now we are filling the oil inside. The fill all the filters, all the clean filters is placed. And we are ready to close our cover. Okay. After we close the cover, we put all, all these mechanisms here, which I, I told before. This one. We put also this the cover. We open the supply air, we open the inlet the outlet valves, and we start the power, okay which is very important and we press the button of the flash to check how our system performs okay if uh, if there's any drop of pressure 
how pressure increase okay after cleaning check your readings before and check and after to see if there big difference but mostly I never see big difference in this kind of filters because there is a lot of flow and also in the two stroke engine there is separate crankcase oil and the oil is the most of time clean also because we always fill the oil okay also the purifiers cleaning also we replace some oil okay we fill it depends the consumption of engine okay and the oil it's always be replaced so it's keep clean and this is the most effective way to keep your oil clean use purifiers use filters and to send to the laboratory to check the condition and the quality of oil thank you for watching stay tuned with adventure story with more videos thank you for all bye bye